Family members of two people kill, killed at Club Q say the sheriff's office didn't do enough to stop the suspect from getting guns. And now they plan to sue for 12, 20 million each. They said the El Paso County Sheriff should have asked for a red flag gun or, uh, order after the suspect's prior arrest. Nine News reporter Cole Sullivan explains how families are going to have a high bar to prove this. Their rifles out. If they breach, I'm a blow it to holy hell. Victims' families say this was the warning the El Paso County Sheriff should have heeded. After an hours long standoff in 2021, deputies arrested the Club Q suspect. This was long before the mass shooting at the LGBTQ nightclub. The mother of Raymond Vance and sister of Kelly Loving, who were killed at the club, plus seven other people who were shot, plan to file a lawsuit. They say the sheriff should have sought a red flag order after the 2021 arrest. That's the process where law enforcement can ask a judge to temporarily take someone's guns. But the sheriff at the time didn't like the law. We're not going to pursue these on our own, meaning the sheriff's office isn't going to run over and try and get a court order. I'm, I'm not about to start that. And he didn't. We found El Paso County law enforcement filed zero red flag petitions in 2020 or 2021. The families are saying had the sheriff enforced it, then this Club Q shooting wouldn't have happened. My news legal analyst Whitney Trailer says that's a difficult legal argument to make. There's just so many variables. The Club Q families have to overcome a law that protects governments from civil suits and then convince a judge or a jury that a red flag order, ERPO for short, would have stopped the shooting. This was an egregious, horrible situation, but from a legal perspective, they're going to have a hard time connecting the dots saying had the ERPO been in place, this shooting six months later wouldn't have taken place. The El Paso County Sheriff's Office says it does not comment on pending litigation, but we know some of its thinking from a statement last year. It says it took the suspect's guns after the 2021 arrest and the suspect could not get more guns until a judge dismissed the case. By then, the Sheriff's Office argues it was too late to go the red flag route, even if it wanted to. At the very least, Cole, we may learn more about the inner workings, the process, the, you know, the thought process of the folks involved as this case moves along. Exactly, as we go through this discovery process. But, Kyle, that depends on a judge not tossing it out because of the immunity for government officials along the way. All right. Cole Sullivan, thank you.